Hey everybody, it's Peter Green from Agile for All, coming to you with your daily dose of Agile. Today's Friday, and on Fridays we talk about humanizing work. Uh, humanizing work is uh, the, the movement that I'm most passionate about. It's about making workplaces more fit for humans, and humans more capable of doing great work. Uh, today I want to talk about what we do in a crisis at work. Uh, I'm shooting this video during the early days of the COVID-19 pandemic. So there's a lot of crisis around, and, and one of the things that I'm noticing is that the people around me um, are often going, and myself included, are often going to their reactive tendencies. Um, if you're unfamiliar with reactive tendencies, I'd encourage you to check out the Leadership Circle model. Uh, we'll put a link to it in the show notes here. Uh, but what this means is that people need safety, and so they go to protecting themselves uh, in one of three ways. Uh, which the leadership circle describes. So I've noticed that both in myself, that my, my knee-jerk reaction is to go to what, uh, what my highest assessed reactive tendency is, which is uh, critical and arrogant. And I notice other people in, in uh, my company and in other companies going to their reactive tendencies. And it's just a natural reaction to a crisis. Um, so people need safety in a crisis. They want a sense of safety and control, and, and that's one of the ways that we can get that. So um, some, some bits of advice here uh, if you are uh, going through a crisis, whether that's uh, the current one or crises come up all the time, right? Uh, the first one is to cut people some slack. Notice that they are probably not at their best. Well, guess what? You probably aren't either. So let's cut each other some slack. Um, I, I actually wrote this on a sticky note, put it on my uh, laptop, cut some slack. Um, so this is a reminder, maybe put it on your lock screen on your phone, uh, but remind yourself that we should all be cutting each other a little bit of slack right now. Uh, we know that we're not at our best. Um, second is that people need to be listened to in a crisis. Uh, they're going to move through the crisis emotionally at whatever speed they're going to move through it. Really, the only thing that we can do that is helpful is listening. Uh, if you happen to be uh, feeling more confident or, or less stressed out by whatever's going on, uh, you may have had more, more time to get through it. You, it may not impact you in the same way. You might be over it or okay with it. Uh, but being impatient for other people to meet you there is just going to push that, uh, that time down the road. So uh, take the time to listen and to be with people and to sit with people as they might be struggling through this. Um, and I think the third piece of advice I would have is to look for the people that are struggling. And uh, one of the things that I've noticed is that uh, the, the people that might be struggling the most might be the quietest ones. So as we've been in discussions around what to do, uh, I, I've been looking for who's quiet right now, who's not talking right now, uh, just to make sure that they're okay and to reach out to them. Uh, it may be that they're just fine and they're not engaging. That's fine. But uh, my experience is that there's, there's often one or two people that are not engaging because they are really freaked out. And you reaching out to them just to say, hey, how, how are you doing with this can be really helpful, really meaningful to them. And then uh, finally is in this type of situation, as hard as it is to do it, you need to take a little bit of time for yourself. Probably more than any other time, your presence is really needed. Your mindfulness is really needed. And so um, do whatever you need to do in order to be in that place, whether that's meditating or exercising or goofing off or whatever it is you do to recharge and center yourself. Um, make sure that you take the time to do that because you're not helpful if you're in your most reactive mode yourself. So uh, blessings to everybody that's out there going through this crisis. Fingers crossed that, uh, that we can move through it quickly and together and that it's uh, the type of crisis that makes us uh, more anti-fragile than we were before going into it, uh, that it doesn't break us, but it makes us stronger. And that's my hope coming through it. Um, my, my personal work uh, on myself is moving from critical and arrogant in times of crisis to purposeful and visionary and caring connection. And uh, that is kind of my mantra. And my goal is that, my hope is that as we struggle through this, uh, we come out of this stronger and more connected to each other um, than we were going into it. So fingers crossed for that. That's my hope coming out of this current crisis. Uh, if you're watching this years from now, I'm sure there's another crisis that we're going through at that point or that you might be going through. Uh, best of luck with it. Uh, if you found the video helpful, please share with others, uh, anybody that you think might benefit from just taking a moment uh, away from the current crisis to think through how they want to show up. Uh, it would love to have you subscribe to our channel. 
uh, and to, uh, to get a chance to uh, stay connected to you in whatever way that you want to. Thanks, everybody. Hope you have a great weekend.